Focus on Your Health today, Teresa Snow shows us how. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. Today, even children who are born deaf can grow up with a sense of hearing. It's thanks to technology known as a cochlear implant and a team of experts to help. Even at four years old, Dominic Clayton has a need for speed. Most days you'll find him cruising the family farm in his Power Wheels Jeep. But when it comes to hearing, Dominic got off to a slower start. He ended up in the NICU for 18 days and when they did his hearing test, uh, he failed. Dominic was born deaf, in part due to a rare genetic condition called Noonan syndrome. Can you say shoe? Yeah. So the Cleetons opted for a cochlear implant, a small electronic device that's placed under the skin with an external microphone. You're getting sound, making sound into electrical impulses, and from that into hearing, a perception of sound in the brain. Dr. Arnaldo Rivera, a neurotologist at University of Missouri Healthcare, performed the surgery when Dominic was a year old. When he started hearing us and he could pick out our voices, it was rather heart touching. It was exciting and tearful. The work though was just beginning. What looks like playtime is actually speech therapy. Since the surgery, Dominic has visited MU Healthcare's Children's Therapy Center regularly, learning first what sound is and eventually spoken language. I have him bring me four different items. I want him to build up his ability to both listen, hold that information in his mind, carry out the task. Hey, Dominic, watch what the bus does. The goal is to have Dominic caught up to his peers and ready for mainstream kindergarten. His parents believe he'll be ready and say the challenges have already been worth it. If he couldn't hear, he wouldn't be able to experience the, the wonderful sounds of motors and engines. <laughs> Enjoying life with all five of his senses. Cochlear implants can help both children and adults who have severe to profound hearing loss and who receive limited benefit from hearing aids. Potential candidates first meet with an audiologist before they're evaluated by a team of other specialists. With Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health has been sponsored by MU Healthcare.